Well, he's keeping an eye on the tropics these days, Bobby, especially. So yeah. uh, about a week ago, things were pretty calm, and then all of a sudden just kind of blew up and on And that's us. the way it works. Yeah. The MJO gets in a phase. Matt and Julian Oscillations is this thing, a lot of lift coming across the Atlantic Basin. And we do have some things to watch, but it's mainly Tropical Storm Aaron. And right now, it looks pretty good for us, okay? I don't want I, I try to not get too far ahead of myself, but I know after last season, everybody gets really worried. So right now, we're looking pretty good, but it's certainly something we will continue to watch through this week. So let's get out there right now. And the tropical update, when we look at the outlook for the Atlantic Basin, <laughs> I mean, they even have an X over this area that's right off our coast. It's heading away. That's what brought all our rain over the weekend. They say 0% chance. 10% uh, chance that this forms and drifts northward. 10% that this drifts and moves northward. We don't need to worry about that. Obviously, Tropical Storm Aaron is where we're looking. And you can see Aaron does not look as good as it did the last 24 hours. There's much warmer water here. It went to the north, got into some cooler water. But it's going to head to some warmer water eventually. Here's the forecast track from the Hurricane Center. This is the 5 p.m. update. And I took it all the way out through the five days, of course. And you can see, look at that. Cat 1, first hurricane of the season. Usually happens around August 11th, which is today. So we're not there. It's a little bit late, a couple days late. Uh, but you can see Cat 3 by Saturday afternoon, northeast of Puerto Rico right there, east-northeast. That's a major hurricane, so it'll be the first hurricane, and if this holds, it would be the first major storm of the season. Forecast models in really good agreement, moving it off to the west-northwest, and then north of the islands. That is good. It's good to see this much agreement that close to the islands, right? You want it further away. That's good. And look at the turn, too. Most of the models are suggesting this turn. That is Bermuda right there. They're really going to have to watch it because I think it's a strong storm at that point. There's a high pressure sitting here, and it's literally helping to steer this underneath of it. It can't go into that high pressure, okay? So that's going to steer it, but then this is Friday. By that time, this end, and there's this trough coming through. That's going to eat away at this, and that's going to allow this to curve a little bit more to the north. And then look at this. You've got a high here, a high here. And if you've watched on any of my social media videos I've been making, I've been drawing a door right here, putting a door handle on it, because that is the door that's going to open it up and allow it to move off towards the north. So that's the forecast. Now, check back every day, once or twice uh, this week, because we don't, you can't look at it on Monday and say, oh, you said on Monday that was going to do this. Things may change, so make sure you keep checking back with us.